So how does this work? I'll just ask you a couple questions. Okay. Okay, are you... Hold on a second. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, tell me about yourself. Okay. Um, my name's Helen. I'm from Washington, D.C. What do you do for a living? Uh, <laughs> I'm currently in between jobs. I graduated from college with a degree in psychology. And right out of college, I was able to find a job, which was great, you know. <laughs> but after a year or so, my, my interest waned. Being in D.C., do you find yourself getting into politics at all? Uh, I mean, it's present. I... I guess I just don't. I have my own internal thoughts. Um, when it comes up, I'll speak them. Just, I'm not... I don't try to immerse myself too much. What was your job? I was a social worker. It, uh, it was something I was really interested in doing. It was great for the first year, for sure. Um, and it just got harder for me. But what drew me to psychology was this, this fascination I had with understanding people. So what did you feel like you learned? We all have these layers and this idea we don't truly know how someone is or who they may be and what is uncovered or what isn't. I think it's just, the human mind is just fascinating to me. You said it got hard. How did it get hard? Uh, it's hard to express. My mom wasn't feeling too well and she needed my help and I, I just couldn't commit to my work. So what do you do now? Like I said, I'm in between jobs and I'm, I'm really just trying to figure it all out. So, tell me about yourself. My name's Jason, I live with Helen. What's something you're passionate about? Lately, my job, it helps. It helps to be passionate about your job. It helps to be interested and encouraged by the thing you're doing. What's your job? I work in finance. I participate with the flow of capital or money. Would you say you're passionate about money? Yeah, I'd say that, but I'd say we all are. It's the person without money who's asking for it. And it's the person with it who's revered. Do you think a person with money should be revered? Being considerate to others should be revered. And most people are considerate. I don't think it should take money to be acknowledged, but that's, that's besides the point. What's something you're actively doing right now, like a hobby or something? Um, for a while, I've wanted to know the origin of my name. I thought that was a worthwhile pursuit. So I found out it's from this old myth called Jason and the Argonauts. So it's a good book. Have you heard of it? No, I haven't actually. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a great story. You should check it out. Um, in it, Jason is trying to regain his family's throne and it was taken by this guy named Peleus, very bad guy. And anyway, to become king, he has to retrieve the golden fleece and it's really far away. So he had to bring along this epic crew called the Argonauts to journey with him. Essentially, it's a death wish, and everyone's thinking they're dying, but I haven't finished reading it yet, but I think Jason makes it back. Why, why do you think he makes it back? I mean, I guess that's what makes it a great story, right?
Where are you going? Don't go. I made coffee, you can have some. Oh, thanks. What was that? It's just, it's very mountainous. And it's beautiful because sometimes, or not sometimes, people would travel um, in these truck-like vehicles. And you kind of just get taken away by where you are and you almost get lost, but it's just, What are your plans today? Nothing really. I should be back in around five. Okay. I wanted to tell you about something. What's that? Um, I can just wait till you get back. Excuse me, do you have the time? Oh yeah, it's um, 4.49. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I have a thing I need to get to by five. Hope it's not far. It's not. <laughs> so, I've been trying to do this thing lately. I take it upon myself to talk to someone new every day, no matter how small the conversation. That sounds nice. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be lengthy or anything, just something. Why do you do it? I have this suspicion that people really want to talk and they're looking for any excuse to do so. So this sort of just facilitates that desire. Also, it helps me get out. It helps me stay on task. You know, making this a task, I put myself out there. Sometimes the small conversations expand and I learned something new. What's something you want to do? I really want to travel. Where to? Still trying to figure that out. <laughs> I, well, the obvious answer is everywhere. But for me, I want to be more specific. I saw this movie a while ago and I can't seem to remember the name, but I, I, I try to remember, but all, all I can remember is this field of tall grass and a church. I, I wouldn't say I'm religious, but this, this scene has been so etched in my mind. I don't know where it was. Um, could have been Russia, or Armenia, or Georgia. I'm not sure though. Um, but in my search, 
I came across this group of um, Georgian folk singers. <laughs> and, and they were beautiful. Their voices were so beautiful and I had no idea what they were singing, <laughs> but they were just, they were so beautiful. I think I want to go there. talked to this guy the other day. Yeah? Yeah. I was sitting in the park and we just started talking. About what? Well, he does this thing where he talks to someone new every single day, whether it's just a high or a full on conversation. That's cool, something different. Yeah, I thought so. So what'd you two talk about? He asked me what time it was. Do you have any weird tics or habits? Hmm. I do this one thing. Sometimes before Jason wakes up. Early in the morning, even before dawn, I wake up and I go for a drive. I don't really have a place in mind. It's just in those moments I feel alone and free to do whatever I want. I usually get back before sunrise and before he wakes up. So it's been a while since we last talked. It sounds like you've done a lot. Yeah.